there. I mean, it may be central. I mean, I think sex is important, obviously. I think who you want to make love to, have sex with, whatever, it's it's important to you on a spiritual level, 100%. But it's a, a fraction of your overall identity. And it's like... Yes, it is. It, you know. it, it, it is. Um, first of all, sex is only one way to express your essence. Mm -hmm. It is a very important way. I'm not going to lie, but, um, well, gosh, there's so much nuance to all that. Sure. Um, 100%. Uh, th and also then on top of that, you know, cause I can say things that sound a bit woke, even though they're not such as, you know, we, you know, the soul has no gender, for example, Sex, the etymology of the word sex is actually like set to mm -hmm. male, female. It right. means so ultimately a, it's, a, it's binary. Yeah. It's binary. And it means someone we're not whole. This is why a lot of the higher dimensional people, once you get to a certain level, they're very androgynous. Mm -hmm. um, and um, and uh, they're not whole and, and, God itself doesn't need people when they go to God, like say in a near death experience or something like that, which is tricky because we don't know if they're near death, near death experiences, uh, uh, um, genuine, but whatever, but they, they, they talk about it like an orgasm, but we would take that as a human being because we're very limited. We would take that orgasm as so a sort of sexually perverse thing and it's not that at all it's us that um it's us that even pure sex that's not like you know i don't know we'll just say porno sex right even pure sex is still it kind of still really isn't pure you're doing your best with it that you can whether you know it or not i guess um but um you know god doesn't need to ejaculate in order to feel also that orgasm that you get with God that you get with or being one with God, that orgasm is not is sustained. This is why some people practice tantric sex, tantric yoga. That's, that's exactly what I was going sustained. to bring up. And and um and it there's a sense of peace. And you can get that as a human being, but we don't usually we don't usually tap into the peace part or if we tap into it we don't tap into it for very long um uh and we mostly associate the orgasm with excitement and that's just an element of the orgasm that we sort of extract but there's really more to it and that's why and that and that's why you know it being one with god is described as an orgasm but the way the human being would think of as an orgasm, the average orgasm would be wrong. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, from a tantric yeah. perspective, I, I forget the word, but, um, and he reached this place also with deep meditation and things, but, um, cause what happens even just from a, um, if you were to take it from a purely physiological perspective, say purely like, mm -hmm. uh, as we understand psychology perspective, when you are, orgasming, ejaculating, whatever it is, uh, male or female, uh, you actually can't think about anything else, right? Your mind blanks. There's an incredible focus, yeah. Yes, and it's it's really the state of no mind. And that is what one seeks to attain through deep meditation, through orgasm, through all these things, right? Um, and so entering in the state of no mind is really what we find so cathartic in you know, orgasm. And of course, there is a deep spiritual component to that because of yeah, there's masturbation and all that, right? Sometimes. Yeah. I don't want to speak to the pros and cons of masturbation necessarily, but with a partner entering into a state of no mind in communion is can be a deeply profound spiritual experience um, with that with the other it's almost like uh and I, i'm speaking of my own experience i've never experienced orgasm or had sex with a man whatever but with with in that binary with the counterpart 
energy, the feminine energy, to engage in the slow growing act of, encou of encountering the mind with the other it can be deeply spiritual, obviously. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and of course, grows a connection and with the vessel or here the recipient, whatever that you're working with in that space. Um, that's I'm Tantra, right? And then of course there's this um, Tantric sex, which is working to achieve the orgasm without the ejaculatory things. So you can continue experiencing that no it really is the is the goal to experience that to continue experiencing that no mind clarity state. Right. And so yeah, you utilizing that 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 as a as a sort of offhand metaphor of, of being one with God, right? But it's it's almost ego death. Essentially, it's a constant state of ego death. Yeah, but who really does that when they have sex on Earth, though? Well, that's that's the thing. It's very so so. It's it it is. While it is an accurate description of what it's like to be one with God again, it's in it's also an inaccurate description because most people will understand orgasm in a very limited way. Sure. You know what I mean. So, but well, that's the polarity, right? the um, polarity between the pool of material, the 666 consciousness, and then yeah. utilizing the physical manifestation in yeah. order to reach higher consciousness. Yeah. You know, understanding that sex, well, really understanding, I mean, and I think this is sort of like a maturity thing, a growing thing when you're 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, up to 25, probably maybe well, there's some people that don't ever reach that point but who see sex purely as a means to reach their own egoic uh, fulfillment and you know go and you know forget about life for a while and then and then there's the other side of going well i'm going to do that but it's not about my ego it's about this deeper connection, this deeper yeah. spiritual experience, you know, that I experienced with someone else. So it's almost like a difference between using someone else's body to masturbate 